out in the field. Aki doesn't need much for a battle, let me tell you. He's steaming in again here. Yeah. He's wrapped on the pad and it's just going to be one. And that single is going to mean that equation is quite simple. 69 runs for him, a further 42 deliveries, nine wickets in hand. And that concludes the power play, Nathan. Yeah, two runs off that over with one wicket in return. Good over here from the captain, Nathan Adams. And as Eugene mentioned, end of the power play. So one wicket goes down. We see the scoreboard, scorecard, 21 for Andrew Sedin. Fortunately dismissed by the captain, Nathan Adams. And uh, here we see a signal there from Rencher Pretorius. Just the end of the power play. And Zaya Bong, the left off spinner, yes, into the attack for Tiger Bear Cricket Club. And now we're going to see what the spinners of Tiger Bear can dish up. Because certainly the spinners of Belleville really did a job there as well. Yeah, the bowler there, all rounder, Zaya Bong and Gondo. Ball in hand. The left arm spinner. Left arm of spinner. Zaya Gondo. Starts with the ball just short. Smashed into the offside. It's just going to be one. See with the left armor going towards the right hand batters. There's plenty of room there. Slow deliveries. Plenty of time for the batters to pick their shots. Just a one fielder now on the offside. In the outer ring. Sweeping. It's much better length that. And even a much better line because that's going to force him to hit to the bigger boundary. You don't want to be hovering too much outside that off stump. As we see Ayabonga in the two matches he's played, he's bowled a full, he's full a lot. Now 24 balls, picked up two wickets. And then how's the speed here between these two? And he's quick enough and that's what they have to do. If you can't get the boundaries, keep trying to run hard between the wickets. And pick up the bar, uh, pick up the runs as best you can. Now, really important to run the first one hard, give you an opportunity, go for the second. Good running here from between these two batters, Cody and Liam. Can they try and muscle two runs? And this time the ball is hit far to soft, allowed Ayabonga to run field of his own bowling still just gone for five four balls four balls gone he's gonna be a run on here there is a run on so it's just one fielding done by Franco so six runs conceded one ball to come that all important sixth ball here Nathan I like the bowling here for that's far from Ayangondo very tidy. Six runs, the first five deliveries. One delivery remaining now. Conclude the fourth. Yep. There we go. go they're going to try and muscle up again. Not sure they're going to get it this time. Wago Bessie quick off the boundary that time. Keeps it down to one. So seven runs and then over. Means the equation. Belleville Cricket Club sponsored by Bethwick Seven. That require a further 62 from a further 36 balls. And you see nine runs. To over now, 36 for one, four overs. Run rate, nine runs. Bonga, Gondo, seven runs in that over. So tidy over for the for Tigerberg. Ethan Adams and Gondo, the two spinners, doing the job here in the middle portions of the innings. Yeah, and we get, this is going to be the final over before we get to that golf ticket. Strategic time out there where the players and captains and coaches can sort of rethink their plans and how they're going to go forward in the last five overs of the chase as well as the bowling display here as Wago Besic, the youngster from Bishop. He's going to come into the attack here. He's going to be bowling to Cody Nivot and there's his numbers. Played all the matches so far. Bowled all his allocation of balls and picked up a wicket. Can he get another one here for himself? And Tigerberg, that ball has... Carved away past point. 
That's racing down to the boundary. Is he going to get the field there? Oh. That's been given four. And what a start that is by Cody Niver and Belleville as they get into this final over before that strategic timeout. Yeah, cut shot there from Cody Niver. Wide delivery there from Yako. That's it. Field is there. Bucket point and third. Good shot there from Cody. Put there and just beat his arms out and cut that back with a point. Ah, then what's the response going to be here by the youngster? His response is the ball is going to go down the leg side, it seems. Let's wait for the umpire, De Jong. In fact, he gives that as leg buys. So only one leg buy to the total. Yeah, unnecessary runs given here. Fortunately, Matthew Florence unable to get that one. Extra runs for Balville. Oh, that time he beats the edge there of Liam from Merlin. Being applauded every dot ball there by the supporters of Tigerberg Cricket Club. Oh, good bowling here from Wacker Pesic. Four runs already in the three overs, the three deliveries. That's excellent bowling. Another dot ball just looking a little bit too square. This Liam. Uh, Liam Vermeulen. I don't mind him looking leg side, but I think the way he's played that is one to hit that through square leg instead of trying to go over mid wicket. And that way you hit the ball more in front of square. That should be the aim. That's going to be down the leg side. This time, umpire De Young signals are wide. As always, the umpire is sponsored here by ID247. Unfortunately, that one going to out towards leg side for another extra. Little of loosened delivery there from Wacko Besic. Uh, two deliveries now to end the fifth. That's up in the air. It's going to go all the way. You bet you it's going to go all the way for a maximum. Not sure about this field set here, I have to admit. Surely they have to have that man back. But that has gone all the way. Comfortable as you like by Liam from Merlin. I said you've got to try and hit the ball in front of square. He certainly did that by going straight. Far better shot. Finally, Liam gets the middle out from that delivery. And uh, another six here for Liam for Leon. This one is going to just be dabbed down to the man behind square on the left side. And that's going to conclude five overs here. The Belleville Creek Club certainly put themselves in a very good position at 49 for one. As we head into the golf ticket strategic timeout. And we're going to hand over to our man, PM, to talk you through that. Thank you, huge. Five overs ki samapti. And samay ho chuka hai. Golf ticket strategic timeout ka ye hamara 2 minute ka countdown shuru ho chuka hai golf ticket strategic timeout ke liye drinks cart jisko ki sponsor kiya hai golf ticket ne already field pe pahunch gayi hai aur ballebaaz aur fielders अपने अपने टीम के साथ एक स्ट्रेटजी बनाते हुए गल्फ टिकट द्वारा दी हुई ड्रिंक्स का से रिफ्रेश रिफ्रेशमेंट्स का लुत्फ उठाते हुए अपने दर्शकों को बता दूं कि गल्फ टिकट यूएई का सबसे ज्यादा भरोसेमंद राफेल ड्रॉ है फुली रेगुलेटेड फुली ऑथराइज्ड एंड रजिस्टर्ड आप अपनी किस्मत आजमा सकते हैं गल्फ टिकट.com पे Unleash your chance to win millions with golf ticket. UAE ka sabse premier online raffle draw. Experience karein thrill of life changing possibilities. Aur lucky winner banne ka aap ko isme pura pura mauka hai. Abhi ka abhi register kariye golfticket.com pe. Aur kheliye kismat ka khel. Sabse zada bharo se mand raffle draw hai UAE ka. Karodon kamaiye. और अपने सपनों को पूरा करिए 
गल्फ टिकट डॉट कॉम पे जाके गल्फ टिकट हमारे टाइटल स्पॉन्सर हैं केप टाउन क्लब क्रिकेट लीग के टी टेन क्रिकेट का असली एनिमल और इन्होंने ही स्पॉन्सर किया है स्ट्रेटेजिक टाइम आउट को इस लीग के लिए आखिरी के कुछ चंद जिसमें ड्रिंक्स कार्ट फील्ड से वापस आते हुए फिर से अपने दर्शकों को याद दिला दूं कि तुरंत रजिस्टर करें गल्फ टिकट डॉट कॉम पे और खेलें किस्मत का खेल Big thanks to PM to bring us through that strategic timeout sponsored by Golf Ticket. Giving you a few of his insight now. Then 48 is the equation here of 29 balls. Ayabonga still bowling here. Five balls to go in this. He's second over. Again, that one has worked fine on the leg side. A lot of ground to be made. The field is running around. Eventually, he doesn't get there. And that's another four, and not a good start here. Five of two balls. Yeah, good shot from Cody, just shifting across the wicket, and uh, able to play it along the leg side. Good on square. Set shot again. Left gap. Unfortunately, the fielders there not able to get that one. Another four runs here for Balvo, and the one on the way for to their first win in the, this year's competition. Still a lot of cricket to be played here, Nathan. There's still a lot of cricket to be played. 44 runs now needed. 28 deliveries. Again, looking on the leg side. Again, looks like ground to be made. Looks like that's Franco, but they're going to come back for two because there's a lot of real estate out on that ground there, on that side of the field. 42 now of 27 deliveries. Just three now on the leg side. Hang on. Deep mid wicket and deep square. That's a shorter ball, and then they've gone for the reverse sweep. The ball's going to go to the boundary, and the ball wins. What an over this has been here after the golf ticker strategic timeout here for Balva Cricket Club. Certainly must it up. Good bit of momentum for themselves here. Yeah. Reverse sweep there from Cody, and that's six or two fielders standing backward of. On the offside for another four runs. So already seven runs already in three to the four deliveries. That's powerfully hit, and that's going to be another four. That's going to be another four. This is a massive over in the context of this match, and he's the captain taking his team here and putting them into a great position here to get the first victory. Eugene, you spoke about there's still a lot of cricket to play. Doesn't look like we're going to be lasting for the full tenure. Looking at the way things are gone here after that time, our Peter Cody never he's taken the attack here too. The cricket club. What a start it has been as we see some of the sponsors here. MG Lion, they obviously sponsoring Tiger Bird Cricket Club. Thirty-four now needed. Twenty-five deliveries. Firmly hit down the ground again. There's a lot of ground to be made. Severiano keeping her coming around. Sort of slips as he picked it up, and that's another two. Now then, the equation reads: thirty-two runs. It's going to be needed by Belva Cricket Club, sponsored by Bet Big Seven. Twenty-four ball still remaining. Nathan, surely the batting team should be. Advantage to them in this one, but is there another span in the works here in this match? Yeah, with that over from Ayabonga, Gondo, Curry now moves on to 30-16. Ayabonga and Gondo now ends his two overs with 24 runs and 12. The economy there, not what is needed at the moment here for Tigerberg. If I flip over there, they see the run rate now moves on to 11 runs per over. Sort of chalk that Q was looking to hit that on the onside. Managed to get chalk on that. Hits it through to the offside. 
Fuego Pass is still continuing here. Fortunately, I'm not able to get the full blade of the bat there. And, uh, 12 runs now, moves on to 12 runs. Echo Bester, Besik now bowling his second over. Cut away, that's sort of head away, hard in front of the square, the ball again trying to get to the boundary. Again, a, bat, a feel of slips, it's just going to be the two. But that's all that's needed here. Let's now move under the under 30 here, 29 off, remaining 22 balls, surely, surely, Belleville Cricket Club, surely, they should take it from here. Oy. That's ramped yeah. over, the keeper has gone for one bounce, four. I said at the toss, and I asked him, it's just for you to go out there and have some fun, and he said, yeah, we're just going to go out there, give it our best shot, and have some fun doing it. There we see that, that delivery, that ram shot over the keeper. Unfortunately, more misery here for Tigerberg. Captain's innings, captain's lock here from Cody Nivo. And uh, another boundary. Good innings here from the captain. Jakob Bestik seems to get a good return here. So he's trying to use the feet. They're going to go through for a quick single. Shy the stump there by Matthew Florence. But again, they come through. And this is again a very, very good over here for Belleville Cricket Club. 24 needed of 20 deliveries. See our bottom edge there from Cody Nivot. Get off strike. 37 runs now. 18 deliveries, 19 deliveries. Now where are they going to stem the flow? Target by Cricket Club. Where you go, Bess? He's still got two balls to go this over. It's gone for the short ball. That's going to be one for the over. Yeah, better return here from Weko Besik. Just uh, applying pressure back onto the batters there. He can't bowl another one there, though. So where is he going to go? He cannot bowl short. Or even a head-high ball here. Obviously, that's got to bounce. I'm not talking about head-high full tosses here. I'm talking about a short ball. Head-high. Here he comes. What is he going to give us here now? gone full and straight and the man has hit that hard straight down the ground it's gone for four brilliant shot there from Liam from Lulin to end the seventh over and uh, we see Cody now and Liam move on to 37 and 16 runs respectively 11 runs just over 11 runs the current run rate and uh, Waku Pesic now concludes his two overs for 24 runs. Well, if it's me, I would bring on the captain as we look at the match number 13. That awaits us after this one. It's going to be Northern Scooter Cricket Club, sponsored by Tar 777. They're going to be up against Cryfontaine Cricket Club, sponsored by Bully 777. And as I was about to tell you there, Nathan, if it's me, and I'm the captain. I will bring Aiton back on here because he's both one over for one run. Surely he should be the go-to man here for Tigerberg Cricket Club. Delivery again, that final delivery of that over. Straight down the ground for four runs. I must say, I have been impressed with the Tigerberg fielding, but unfortunately they're not able to gather that one. You've been impressed by it, have you? Definitely. <laughs> Stopping a certain force. Going for threes. Stopping for certain fours, mate. <laughs> Let's leave that there, please. Now then, our attention draws to Ruben Menor. Can he stem the flow? He needs to get a breakthrough and go for as miserly runs as he possibly can. Big man runs in from the golf course end. Starts with the ball short and wide. And dot ball. Dot ball now then. 17 balls still to go. Surely Belleville still favourites. Short and wide delivery there. Finding that man standing at point. Another dot ball. There we see. Bravo now required 20 runs of 17 deliveries. That again has hit. Now then, here's that gone in the gap. A squeeze through extra cover. It's gone for four. Now then, run a ball. Stop from here on in, Nathan. Yo, brilliant cover drive there from Cody Nivo, the captain. Captain's innings here. Delivery, full pitch delivery, and uh, 
Brilliant shot there through the covers for the kind of boundary. Inches a bit closer to that 50 milestone, the captain, Cody. 16 runs needed. 16 balls still to come. Plenty of wickets in Hutch. Captain standing tall here for Balvo Cricket Club. It's laughter that has gone over point. Is it going to go for another boundary? Yes, indeed. And now they are racing to that finishing line. Five runs now required for Cody to reach that 50 milestone. Thickish edge towards just over the back of point. See the delivery again. Thick edge over back of point and short third. Four runs. Yeah, he's just going to keep going. He wants to finish this one in a hurry. Surely net run rate also going to play a part, but they want to get that W on the scorecard first. Cody Niva facing up. Bowled him! Oh. Again, cartwheeling out the ground, the stumps. Ruben Munar. Now then, is that another little bit of a spanner being thrown in the works here, mate? Beautiful delivery there. Full pitch delivery. Another wicket. Bold wickets, cartwheeling there. And uh, unfortunately, do you see the wicket? Again, that delivery, four piss delivery, and unable to get that one. Uh, you see the wicket, cartwheeling. Very disappointed himself, the batter there. Yeah, but what a knock it's been by the captain, Cody Nevo. He scored 45 runs, majestic runs there for his for his team, maybe taking them as close to the finish line as he possibly can. Well appreciated here by his teammates. Excellent knock by the youngster there. Captain leading from the front. There we see the new batter there, Kronje van Groenen. Coming out for big lad. Definitely going to take the team over the line now. Which way is he going to take the team over the line here? With singles? Or is he going to take the team over the line hitting fours here? What way you reckon here, Nathan? Guess only time will tell. <laughs> I'm taking option two, mate. I'm taking option two. But again, it does help to finish again early with the net run rate. And Balvo, as mentioned, Balvo yet to get off the mark with the W. And again, they're really, really well on the way now to get that W, that wicket in that, <laughs> in that win column. Well, we've got to add somebody take a double. Bang, bang, wicket there for Balvo Krieger. Can Ruben Minard be that guy? Again, what I don't understand is the fielders on the leg side are again on the boundary. They've got to come 10 or so meters in. That's a big hit to get over that side. But here we go, Ruben Minot running in to Kronje. That's done. The leg side. It all comes in. Oh, just managed, just misses the stump. It's just gone for one. 11 needed of 13 deliveries. I tell you, Nathan, this game is not done and dusted yet. Now, run delivery remaining now in the eighth. That delivery, finding that man standing, short fine leg and a big shine, but unfortunately not able to get a wicket there. But good running between the wicket from uh, Kronje and uh, Liam. Liam van Vieren is facing up here to Ruben Munnar. This is the all-important sixth delivery of this, the eighth over. Big appeal, big appeal. They're just going to go for... Is it a leg bar? The umpire hasn't shown anything. So we have just got to take it that there was a little bit of a feather. And eventually she does show that he's a leg bar. Yeah, that one just sliding down the leg side and the impact outside leg. But big appeal from Ruben, but unfortunately not to be. Rencha Pretorius there, not bothered by that appeal. And that ends the eighth over. 88 for two, run rate here. 11 runs per over. We see there Cody, the captain, 45 runs. And uh, Ruben Minar now concludes his two overs. 19 runs with one wicket. Economy 9.5. Two overs remaining now. Eugene? 10 runs needed. 12 deliveries. Captain brings himself on. He's bowling to Liam for Fieren. For Mielen, apologies. Liam for Mielen. That's hit on the pad again, and they're going to shuffle through for a one. Throw comes in. And that's going to be Cronier on strike. Now then, nine needed, 11 balls. Have you got some sand to throw in that well-oiled machine of yours there, Nathan? Come on, give us a little bit of a grind. <laughs> Let's make it a little bit tighter than what it is here. 
I think you need to be telling Ethan Adams this. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to believe that you still can get it. Who can forget? Who can forget? Chico, Shaw Langefeld taking a, a hat-trick against West Indies. This one is just lovely steered. Now then, the chase is on for two. Oh, he's turned there. Like the Kiwi too, unfortunately. He didn't run the first one hard. Uh, he ran that as hard as he can, mate. But it was only going to be one. Receiving. No, no, no risk needed there. Eight needed of ten balls. That's all they need. Liam from Maryland. Oh, oh, no. And a comeback for two as well. What should have been a dot. Ends in two runs. Looks like it's bars. Given's bars as from Jack, Jacob de Jong there. Fortunately, the keeper there, Matthew Florence, again. Another misfield. Definitely very disappointed himself there, the young lad. Matthew Florence, the keeper. Yeah, that was vital. And are we going to look back to that? There's a few key points we can already look through this game and that's what t10 cricket does it just magnifies the smaller factors the smaller impacts of the game down the ground and no risk needed and that's very intelligent batting there by liam from Milan. just hitting that down the ground for one he's grown here on strike five now needed eight balls still remaining he's there Shaw longerfeld in this team of tigerberg cricket club somebody can Sort of just keep things tight. Ethan Adams definitely need that first over of his. That's guided down. Well played. And again, no risk at all. The, all they're interested in is that big number W that they want to put on that scorecard and get them the win. Yeah, that's one. Cronier guiding it down towards deep third. Just for a single. Again, as Eugene mentioned. Not much risk is needed. Just four runs now required in seven deliveries. For a first win here for Balville. This is a massive ball. Sixth ball of this over. A dot here could make things interesting. A run here. Balville Cricket Club should fancy themselves. Here we go. <laughs> Bowl him! Oh! Bowl him! Fox stuck out the ground again. And there we go. Is that the spanner in the works here for Balville Cricket Club? Again, <laughs> Ethan strikes. Four runs needed of six deliveries. And he said he was batting nicely. Kept his head. It just went for the big shot there. Oh, he might look back at that and think, ah, oh, maybe I should not have done that. And then we see a delivery again. Pain across the line and unfortunately misses that one. Bold again. Ethan Adams rolling off his first over. With another wicket here. Two wickets now for Ethan Adams. And unfortunately, that man has to part Liam from Ulan. Super over, super over. You definitely want one of those, eh? <laughs> I don't want this day to end. Don't want this game to end. T10 cricket. It's alive and kicking, I tell you. T10 cricket at its finest, eh? What has he said, right, Eugene? Oh. Ah, then. Eugene, if this had to be a, a super over, this would be the second super over in this, in this competition, right? It would be. It would be. Tell you what, that's even exciting stuff as well. But not as exciting as I look to my right and pan across the Balville Cricket Club batters, supporters sitting on the edge of their seats, fingernails being burnt, heads in hands. What's this going to be? Many of people leaning forward. You see a few nervous smiles. That man Cameron, he's got the pads on. What's he going to give us? Antley Adams, AA. One of the AAs, he's bowling now, Nathan. Come on, which way is it going to go? Which way is it going to go here? Let's hope for a super over. Oh. Some more excitement here for you the spectators. You Again, know, we have to be, not can't be biased here. You know, we back in, in between. If you needed four of six with wickets in hand, surely. Hey. Oh, now you're giving it to the to the. I'm to saying bowl. nothing. I'm calling each ball as it happens here. Don't Thank you, Eugene. Thank you. Leave me alone. Right, here we go. Antley Adams. Bowling to Cronier. Four runs needed. Six balls. Andrew sitting. He's done his job. He got quick 20 for his team. He's laughing away here. Can his team do the buzz? 
everything coming to a halt here. Still don't know why that guy is on the big boundary there. Very interesting. Four runs required. That ball is going to be clipped straight to that man now. It's gone through his hands. And it just stops in front of the boundary. That's very interesting. Wow, First ball, woes for three. And that means the scores are tied. Tia, not much to do yet. Tia Sedin, the brother of Andrew. There's that shot again. And uh, unfortunately, not a clean take there from that fielder. And they're able to get three runs off that delivery. Just now one required now for victory here, Balville. That is going to be clipped. And that's going to go. And that's the winning run for Balville Cricket Club. And they are on the board. They have got a victory and must say they've been well. They played well in this second innings to chase down that score of that target of 98. And as we said, that was going to be a roundabout par. Unfortunately for Tiger, but Cricket Club, they just couldn't defend that. Yeah, first win here for Powerful. Just take a recap here. Powerful winning the toss and deciding to bowl first. And uh, Tigerberg scoring 97, five wickets in the lotted 10 overs. And uh, the captain, the captain for Powerful, 45 runs up front and uh, steering the team towards their first victory here in this year's competition. And uh, that concludes this game here between Powell and Tigerberg. Yeah, Tigerberg Cricket Club are going to look at two really important factors, I feel. One, when they were batting and the big hitters, Severiano Kipito came in, he went. Even Matthew Florence, he went first ball. And they're going to look at that moment where they could have just hung around for six or 12 balls and sort of give impetus into this innings. But again, Balvo uh, Cricket Club again coming out. Andrew, he set the tone, 21 of 10 deliveries. Cody, the captain, 45 of 23. And Liam from Milham, he got 17 and a run of ball. Did the trick for Balvo Cricket Club. And that's all they needed. And I'm certainly they will be well chuffed for that victory. Yeah, we see the bowling scorecard now. Stand up bowlers there. Ethan Adams, two overs, four runs, two wickets with economy. Very good economy, the captain. Two. And uh, both captains doing the job here for both teams. But unfortunately, there has to be a victor. And that victor is Balvo getting that first win here. Uh, just in the, see the next game here. We see... Northern's Goodwood Cricket Club, sponsored by Taj 777. Going up against Cryfin Tank Cricket Club, sponsored by Billy 777. And uh, that concludes today's game. And now we'll go to the post match interviews with the uh, commentator Eugene.
Welcome back here to the post-match presentation of this Golf Ticket Presents Cape Town Club Cricket League T10 match here. It was match number 12 between Tiger Bay Cricket Club, sponsored by MG Line. They were up against Belleville Cricket Club, sponsored by Bet Brick 7. It was Belleville Cricket Club that came up on trumps and getting their first win in this competition. However, I'm going to ask uh, Ethan Adams to have a word with me. He is the captain of Tiger Bay Cricket Club. Ethan, you're going to look at a, probably a couple of things there, but you must have thought that 98 probably a good score for you guys at the halfway stage yeah we basically thought 98 was spot on this weekend mm. but yeah we left too much dodgeballs out there while batting yeah i guess it's coming to your batting there the likes of matthew florence there going first ball and then severiano cooper also not kicking on you're probably looking at those two aspects where if you could have got six or even eight balls out of them to score runs that might have taken you to be on the hundred yeah surely once if matthew kicks on we surely scoring more than 100 but it doesn't help if you go for more than 10 and over. So, yeah, and they minimized the, the dot ball, so that's what got them over the line. Yeah, just with your bowling and your feeling, maybe a little bit indifferent from both aspects of the field. You could have done a little bit better in those aspects. Just shows in T10 cricket the importance of those aspects in the field. Yeah, the errors are very marginal. Once you concede the runs, it's very difficult to make up. Listen, only three games into the tournament for you guys. You've still got a lot of cricket to play. I'm sure you're going to just try and get a bounce back to at your next game. Yeah, hopefully we can minimize the dot balls while batting and then executing more with the ball. Listen, go well for the remainder of the tournament. Cheers, enjoy. Bye. Uh, we're just going to get Cody now and just look at he's a, uh, the captain of Balva Cricket Club. I'm glad we're not getting a full shot off because he's wearing Crocs, so, but don't worry about that. Cody, much happier today. A big smile on your face. Big smile, big smile. Very good win out of the boys today. I thought you guys started really well with ball in hand. You got out what you wanted with by bowling first as well. You're certainly happy with your bowling performance. Definitely happy with the bowling performance. We slacked a little bit in the end, but you know what? It's cricket, eh? Yeah, with this format, you're always going to expect that. 36 coming off the last two overs. You must have been worried there at a halfway stage. Definitely a little bit worried, but I mean, under 100, we'll take that any day of the week. And that batting performance led by yourself and then um, the big guy as well that bat with you, Andrew. He didn't have a great day in the field, but he certainly turned it around in, with the bat. Definitely. You're always looking out for those big guys to come off, come off once or twice, eh? and today was the day. Ever thought of having that super over? Were you quite confident there? No, I was very confident. I have to back my boys. You can't, can't go in with that. Listen, well done. That's your first victory in the storm, and hopefully there can be many more. Thank you. That concludes the post-match presentation. You have this golf ticket. Presents Cape Town Club Cricket League T10 competition. Here it was a match between Tiger Bay Cricket Club and Balva Cricket Club. Balva Cricket Club coming out tops here. Look forward to seeing you again for the next match.